Hello, my name is Rocco, and I am a white witch and an angel magic practitioner. Behind me you can see the altar of Archangel Michael, and I have a ritual uh, lit up for a client of mine. And today I wanted to share with you what are the basics of angelology and spellcasting. So when you are about to cast a spell, first of all you have to make your decision as to what you want as the outcome. After you do that, you check a list of angels and entities and you see which one corresponds more to what you want and uh, you select that entity and you study upon it until you realize what you need for the ritual to take place and then when it's the right time, the right moon phase, then this is when you, um, you will cast the spell. Now for beginners uh, a good advice would be to work solely with God, because you know that God is almighty, so he can do everything, and all you need to do would be a white candle and the desire to have your wish or need met. So you can simply, no matter the day, you can meditate, and the way you do that is you close your eyes, you turn up, you light up the candle, uh, which can be in this case because it's God white for every purpose, and you will feel this very uplifting energy because it's God's positive and loving energy, and you make a wish to God, and you pray to Him. You can recite a prayer um, according to your request. And you can say a Holy Father afterwards. You can stay in this blissful state of meditation until you feel that something is moving in and inside of you and your desire is coming to fruition. But, um, after a while, because it's not a sin to call on Evan's help and to ask the angels for help, you can also study upon each angel and what these angels uh, might have in store for you. The angels are the messengers of God. So they're all parts of God and their name always ends in E-L, which is a Jewish name for God. So Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and all these names, they all are names of the divine. So all angels' names end in E-L, except exception made for two of them, and uh, these are Metatron, and Sandalphon. These two angels were once humans, and Metatron is the prophet Enoch, and Sandalphon was um, his brother, and they both ascended to the heavens because of their upright and um, fair, just, um, holy way of leading their lives. So uh, in the in the example of Metatron, he just fell called um, to the heavens and then he was made into an angel which actually now is the most powerful of angels and in the Kabbalah uh, he is associated to Kether which is the highest sphere of the tree of life meaning that um, he is associated with the possibility of hearing the voice of the divine hearing the voice of the angels. So just when just by hearing the voice of God and the voice of the divine and the angels, you automatically are in a place of love and you can ascend to the heavens uh, one day even if maybe you won't become an angel like Metatron but you will be in that same state of bliss with maybe less responsibilities or less power but you will still be in heaven just because you have had the possibility to listen 
to the voice of the Creator. So, each angel is associated to a day of the week. The first day of the week is considered to be Monday. So, today, the angel associated to Monday is Gabriel. Gabriel's colors are white and silver, like the moon. Gabriel is, he once told me, the angel of forgiveness, the angel of um, motherly instinct and motherly care and to care for children. He is the angel of hope and of especially purification because the moon has this very delicate energy and this very watery energy that's associated to uh, purifying and getting rid of um, what no longer serves you. So Gabriel um, can be summoned upon on a Monday using a white candle. Some of the uh, herbs that you th that can go with a type of ritual like that are um, jasmine, mint, or even basil and other herbs that you perceive to be fresh and detoxifying such as uh, dandelion or dandelion root. So uh, you mix these ingredients on your altar and you can use one, three or seven white candles and you summon upon the help of Archangel Gabriel to cleanse you from every negativity and from every curse and curse and from every evil entity and in general from anything negative that could be in your life. second day of the week is Tuesday and it's associated to Archangel Shemuel. Shemuel is an angel who brings courage, energy, life force and also helps you with passion. His color is red and he is associated to the energy of Mars. Uh, for all of these angels you can find online or at a local store what you call planetary incenses that they go with with the day that's associated to the angel so say Gabriel you would need moon incense as for Raphael you you will need mercury incense and then Cassiel Saturn incense and then Michael the incense of the Sun and so on and so forth um, <coughs> Moving on with the week, on Wednesday you have uh, what we call a uh, divine healer or the uh, doctor, the divine doctor, uh, who is Raphael and there's a lot of hospitals here in Italy too that are called uh, after him because he has this very healing and tranquil energy that will certainly be able to heal your body and soul from anything that um, uh, can be um, in the way of experiencing blessings and uh, divine perfect health. And his colors, the color of Mercury usually is purple or violet. But in this case, Raphael um, is more connected to the other color of this day, which is green or emerald green. On Thursday, we have Archangel. Sakiel, who is an angel associated with uh, money, associated with wealth, with uh, getting a job, with just feeling good, and it's the energy of Jupiter. His color is dark blue, and um, you can call upon him if you're poor or if you need more money. And the way you would do this is to call upon him on a waxing moon. The following, the following day is Friday. And Friday is associated with Archangel Haniel, who is also associated to um, Venus, but also to the full moon because she's very feminine. 
So she brings love, fertility, and helps you solve, just like the cherubim, angels, every type of difficult situation which relates to your soulmate or twin flame relationships. And you can also summon her in order to get help in finding your soulmate. And the way that works, you just light up a pink candle, She, her color is pink and green. And you can use a pink candle, which is even more connected to her, and you can ask her to find uh, your soulmate, or just a good person to take care of you, and you can also list the um, characteristics that this person needs to have to make you happy. Um, Honey L is, again, Angels don't have gender, in truth, but have masculine and feminine energies, just like we do. So, Haniel has got more of a feminine energy, just like Michael has got more of a masculine energy, and just like Cassiel has got more of a masculine or elegant energy. So, um... But all these things don't count in the end because you are loved by the angels and by God no matter who, who you are or what your energy is like or what your gender is. But this is just to say that these are very spiritual beings that have you know, energy tendencies just like you have energy tendencies. Um, Saturday is then associated to Cassiel, who is the Archangel of Tears and Solitude, and he's the one who helps people who are old, ill, or dying, uh, the ones who know that their time has come, to make the passage to the afterlife plane called Heaven. So, and he's also an angel that can be called upon for justice or revenge. Now the Bible says, um, bless those who bless you, it also speaks of forgiveness, but it also says, bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. So, cursing is allowed, but um, it has to be contained to those cases where nothing better can be done, and where there is a life in danger and situation, or just where this is the best solution. Um, for, say, your problem, uh, or your seeming problem. Sunday is the day of Archangel Michael, who has a very uplifting energy, and he is the warrior archangel, and he's, he's the pattern saints of police officers, because he's one who protects you and helps you get rid of negative energies. So for the role that he's had in the Bible and history, he is one, he's the one to call upon together with um, the Holy Mary uh, to defeat the devil and his works and to purify and exercise you from every just like Jesus from every uh, unholy or dark spirit so Michael is also one who brings you good luck who gives you energy and he is he represents in Kabbalah the um, in angelology the glory of so he's the angel of splendor and of uh, power also. So as you see, uh, candle magic and angel magic are very easy. You just need to know which angel corresponds to um, what you want to have. And then select the right day, or right moon phase, waxing moon for positive, uh, waning moon for negative, new moon for attracting abundance and other things such as attraction and other types of blessings and then the full moon especially for purifications even though they're they can be successfully performed with any moon phase and last but not least um just remember to avoid uh the uh what is called the void of the moon so when the moon it's not uh, it's not visible at all or it's obscured. So these are some of the basics of white magic and I hope you can enjoy it. Uh, God bless you.